All right, so this is the next up in our series of Would I Buy This Business? We have a law firm for focused, <laughs> focused on foreclosures, default servicing, uh, New England tri-state area, I guess. Okay, so a law firm for sale. The first catch with selling a law firm is presumably you have to be an attorney yourself to consider buying it. So on the plus side, um, if you're interested in this one, you're not going to be competing with a lot of buyers, but on the downside, you're only probably going to be able to buy into it if you're an attorney. Well, let's see further down if it says, uh, law firm, two principal partners, 30 year reputation, uh, REO sales and eviction, as well as personal injury and workers comp looking to be acquired company revenue mainly comes from mortgage servicing companies the firm is 95 percent focused on foreclosures uh, after decades of independent management the firm's partners are seeking a change in their professional rhythm they've decided to pursue an acquisition to benefit from larger scale operational efficiencies so maybe that means they're planning to stick around and they're wanting to be by to be bought by someone who can bring in um, more work and take care of the, some of the admin and overhead this is kind of an unusual one. Um, one, because you'd have to be the, a qualified person to buy it too, because the people who are selling it sound like they want to stay. They're just hoping that you'll give them $1.7 million for it. But then if they're sticking around and they're still going to want to get paid. So the cash flow for this is 741,000. So if you take it over, what are you actually getting for it? If you've got to keep paying these guys to stick around, they're going to, be taking a pay cut, but and what are you going to, ah, this deal is messy. Let's put it that way. The buyer pool is limited. The financials are unclear and the sellers are going to stick around and keep running it or something. I don't know. It's really hard to sell a business as a business owner, but want to still stay involved. <clears throat> you can take a transitionary role, maybe do some sales, you know, make sure a client's transition but sticking around full time and becoming an employee instead of, uh, um, you know, the owner is is tricky. I think a lot of people have a hard time with that mental leap of going from owner to employee. And this one just seems like they're going to probably have a tough time making that work. But good luck. I hope they can sell it. I just wouldn't count on it.